lovelies welcome back to my channel um it is my filming day it is a saturday and well i gotta admit i got a bit inspired because i watched the molly may um first impressions makeup video i'm not doing a first impressions because i don't have any money at the moment to do that but i am um going to do a little get ready with me spring makeup look um my makeup has drastically changed since the last time that i did a get ready with me for you guys so we're just gonna we're just gonna crack on do you know what I mean? we're just gonna do a bit of a, like a natural glowy look today i've got my vitamin c serum we're looking we're looking glowing um i need to stop my posture out because i literally i'm sitting like a hunchback i'm not strong but anyway um so yeah i'm gonna be kind of doing my makeup and in a few videos time I think I'm going to try and recreate the Madison Beer makeup look because I have a lot of similar products to here that are a lot cheaper obviously um but I want to try some of the Charlotte Tilbury makeup so I'm going to do that in a few weeks bear with me bear with me but I thought we just do some makeup today you know I'm gonna have to use my camera because my mirror is atrocious at the moment absolutely atrocious it's literally falling apart but I don't want to get a new one until I go to uni because what's the point you know Okay, so let me just grab, I'm just going to grab some, I need to do this before the video, but here we are, not prepared as per usual. Okay, my brush is there, I should just set up before I do anything, but I just don't do that. Okay, so I'm going to have to go wash my beauty blender. I'm back ladies, I'm back, right, so let me get everything out, let me get everything out, let me prepare, because I'm never prepared for this, and... I should be, and I'm not. So, get everything out that I need, that I'm gonna need for this video. Should only take me a few minutes. Done, right, okay, let's start. Let's crack on, let's get straight in. So I've obviously prepped my skin. Um, I do need to purchase a primer, but at the moment I've just gone for a bit of CeraVe lotion, a bit of vitamin C serum, just to sort of clean that skin right up. And I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 112. So I'm gonna crack on with that. Um, I am gonna do buy some more makeup because I I typically use the same makeup for pretty much everything. I won't lie, like I have used the same makeup typically for about the past year. I know I had slightly different products in the video that I did back at the start of lockdown one, but in terms of my actual products I haven't really switched up that much so I think I probably ought to get some new makeup just experiment with it I mean in terms of what I do like facially my makeup routine has changed so much but I think in terms of my actual product I think I do need to switch it up a little bit give it a little just give things a little go because it's fun to experiment with makeup and I think I've lost the sense of that fun a little bit and I'd really like to just get into that again you know so I just put this all over my face. I got this beauty blender in my um, stocking, not my stocking. Um, I got the Real Techniques Advent Calendar this year, actually as a Christmas present. So it was like a Christmas present that I received at the start of December, which was so fun. And I think it's such a good idea because it's something that I will get. I would have got so much use out of. So I'm just popping some of that on there. I think I'm gonna have to go in for a double dab with my foundation because that is not enough. I personally really love this foundation. I've gone back and forth to this over the years. Like, I typically go between this and the Dream Satin by Maybelline um, or the True Match. I just tend to stick with, with the same foundations. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not one for, I'm not one for experimenting with foundation. Like, when I find a foundation that I like, that's it then. That's mine for life, you know? But I did try the Ordinary one about two years ago. I personally wasn't impressed um I can't remember the exact reasons why I wasn't impressed but I just remember feeling that it wasn't what I wanted it to be and I think it just wasn't the best it was quite cheap though so it was quite affordable for a, for a foundation so I, I thought okay that's not too bad but for me possibly possibly not I've got one bit of hair that hasn't gelled and it's quite frustrating actually do you see what I mean it's right there Oh, my hair's doing me nothing at the moment. I booked a hair appointment last night because I thought I can't be bothered. I wasn't going to book one because I was going to like 
see how my hair was going because it got really my hair was really good it was in really good condition it's still in a really good condition but it got to a point where I was really really happy with it and um I just feel like at the moment it's, a, it's annoying me I don't know why but okay so the next product I use is the Revolution Conceal and Define now I'm always typically a um collection concealer I'm always a collection concealer girl but I bought this as like a, I bought this because I saw it on TikTok and typical typical and I actually love this I will definitely purchase this again I got this in C1 which is a very light color very light color but I really like it and it's very like smooth and creamy I just it's very like thick I think like it's a very high coverage for like concealer um I love it personally I love this and it smells so nice. It smells very like, very like cakey, not not cakey like appearance wise. It just smells like cake, like strawberry shortcake cake. I don't know how to describe smells. It's really bad. Okay, so let's go in with a bit of that. I tend I tend to put a lot of concealer on. I know some people don't put as much concealer on, but for me, I just love a bit of concealer. So. Do, do. I keep um I keep singing all like the two thousands pop songs. I'm just a bit obsessed with them at the moment. Okay, so let's delve in there. I really liked um the way that Madison Beer used her cream br cream blush. I always used to be so scared of cream blush back in the day because I used to think it would look really silly. But I think we've got it as we've got it as a community we've got to get over this fear of having orange cheeks because at the end of the day it just looks really cute and i think blush should be celebrated like bronzer is is like held in such high regard like everybody loves bronzer and nobody loves blush and it's really sad okay so i'm just gonna dab it in i will say the only thing that possibly i would criticize this concealer for is it is quite tricky to blend I think the collection one is slightly better. I can't remember what the collection one's called. If anyone knows, please put it in the, the comments because I can't actually remember what it's called. But, okay, so at this point, I will typically go in with a spray. I like the Chamomile Mario Badescu one. People hate this. Um, I really like it. I like the green one as well. The only one I don't like is the pink one. But I really like this. I've never had any problems with breakouts from this. So... But if you have a different spray that you want to use, you can always use that. I think the Madison Beer one that she used is something that I'm going to purchase because it just looks really nice. And I just really like it. Okay, so next stage, I'm using my Technique Colour Fix Contour Palette. This was like £2 from the factory shop. Um, it reminds me of the kind of makeup I used to like buy when I was like 10 and didn't really have much, like, much money. Um, but I love it. I only use pretty much two shades. Um, I use these on holiday sometimes, but I like to use this shade. And I did use this shade and this one. They don't actually have shade names, so I can't tell you what it is. But obviously, if you have this palette or if you purchase this palette, you will know what, what shade I'm on about. So I just, I buff this in. It does smell a little bit, a little bit off. Um, I don't know. I think that's probably because it is quite cheaply manufactured. Um, I wouldn't, as I said before, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. But for me, again, it's never caused me any problems. So that's from personal experience. But I don't know if other people, possibly with more sensitive skin, might have a negative kind of... And I don't want to say reaction, but maybe like a negative effect from this product. I, I don't want to promote a product that is going to cause anything like that. But for me, this product's been perfect. Like, I really like it. But I am, again, going to purchase the one that Madison Beer uses, which I think is the Charlotte Tilbury one. Just to try it out. Just to try it out. My fear is that I'm going to get obsessed with what she's bought and then I'm going to just have to keep up with it. I can't be having that. Okay, so I'm now using the Revolution Strobe Balm, which is in the shade Rose Gold. And it's like this. I don't know if you can still buy these because this was from an advent calendar from a few years ago. But I really like it. So you just pop it on here. If you can't buy this one though, there are so many strobe balms and I know Revolution do a lot of strobe balms so if you're, they might not be in this packaging but if you just keep an eye out or just type in kind of highlight balms, um, I like to tap it in first and then give it sort of like a, a bit of a massage into my skin. 
I just love how this looks. I'm just, I love the no powder glowy face and I feel like it, when you go through the day, it just gets better the more you wear it, honestly. I don't know why, I just think this dewy kind of vibe is really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit up here. By the way, if you see little flecks in my hair, it's not dandruff. Basically, I'm really struggling with my scalp at the moment, again. Um, my friends who watch this will know that I had a problem with my scalp a couple of years ago where it was very um, flaky, um, not dandruff, but it was very sore. Um, it's not happening again, but I think it's just the fact that I am using a lot of gel and stuff. So maybe I need to just calm down with that for a little bit, which is fair enough. Okay, so my next step is my hula bronzer. This will never get old for me. I will never buy another bronzer. I'm sorry. I just never will. Going in with a brush. These brushes are all from Amazon. Um, they're not particular branded or anything. They're just all from Amazon. Um, I have bought a few sets of brushes for different things. So I'll link a random one for you in the description. But So I just get a little bit of that on my brush and tap it on. I go in with a really big fluffy brush. I have so many types of this brush that it's... I literally think I use a different one every day because I just love big fluffy brushes. I've got this one... I've got this one. This one's more angled. Maybe this one's better for your blush. I'll keep that one out. But you can just go in with whatever brush you like, really. It's, this is just like a bit of a guideline. So I go in with my bronzer. I did watch on TikTok this morning that apparently if you apply bronzer from the outer bit of your face first, but I've always applied it from this bit first. I don't know why, but it's always worked for me. But if you want to follow that girl's method, then... It's all good. This camera, it's actually making my skin look really good. I'm really impressed with this. I really like to get in that, get in that neck bone. That, not that neck bone, that jaw bone. You know, we want to make that, make that work. Okay, so bronzer is now done. Um, controversially, I don't use powder, but if I am using powder, I use the Morphe Bacon Set in Translucent. I don't typically like to use powder in the summer and spring. Um, I only like to use it in winter, but if I do use, if I am going for like a day drinks or like a long day of drinking or a long day of like going out. So like if I'm going to a theme park or something, I might use this to keep my, like keep my makeup set. But I personally think without powder, my makeup marinates better on my face. I don't, you, you'll know what I mean by that, but I think it marinates nice, like just in a nicer way. Okay. So next I'm going in with my sleek, um, makeup palette in it's called the blush by three and this one's called lace this was such a thing back when like anastasia was called floral princess um and had like keisha rose um and lily um lily built they all used to use this palette and they'd have like mascara pots oh my god I actually i'm reverting back to my 13 year old self but i love it um i use the orange shade in this palette which is called chantilly I always used to be scared of this colour because I used to think, oh my god, orange blush, what are you doing? But I love it now. Just look how nice that is, how pigmented that is. I'm using this kind of angled brush, but again, you can just use the same brush you used for your bronzer, honestly. Apparently, if you put some of this on your nose as well. I don't know how that works. Oh, do you put it at the end, maybe? I don't really know, but there we go. So I put some of that on. Um, I then sometimes do go in with a um powder highlight i'm not going to today because i think i've done the, the the strobe balm quite strongly but sometimes i might do that okay so then typically what i do is um i'm gonna keep it really natural today i would normally um use the shade hash oh i just stuck my finger in hashtag sorry this palette looks awful i have no excuses for that but um i typically would use this shade um which is hashtag from the Violet Voss Professional Palette. This is the top palette. Could not recommend this more. I've used this literally so many times. I used to be obsessed with this wine and dine colour. Like if you knew me a couple years ago, this would be it. This would be the colour that I would use. I'm just obsessed with it. It is so nice. Um, but I'd use that and I'd go in with the shade Brownie Points as an eyeliner. Yesterday I also went over the brown eyeliner with a really thin liquid liner. And I actually lined underneath my eyes, but I think I'll do a video on that, like as a, like a night out kind of kind of look, maybe in a few weeks or when I can actually go to the pub. Um, 
I then used the, Vi the VO5 Styling Wax um, as my brow gel. Again, if you know me, this is a must. I just need to get my brush. I don't know where my brush has gone. My spoolie. This could be a slight issue because I don't know where my... Oh, there it is. Again, Amazon brushes. I think these actually have a brand, but I'm not sure. I really do need to wash my brushes very badly. Very, very badly. Um, so I go in with this. I just like dip the spoolie in there. I, I get a lot of product. My eyebrows are probably going to fall out because I use so much gel, which probably isn't a good thing. But now something Madison Beer did controversially is she actually did her soap brows before her makeup, which didn't make much sense to me because my foundation would automatically stick to the brows. I don't know, it just didn't strike me as a as a bold move. Right, okay, so again, I have... I can't be questioning Madison Beer now, can I? Because she's just beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going in with some of this. I just brushed the brows up. I don't... I may sometimes go and go underneath here with a, a brow pencil from Morphe. Um, but typically in spring, again, I don't do that. I just do this. Um... I very rarely do that whole drawn on brow vibes anymore. Although I do like the drawn on brow vibes. I actually, I'm happy to switch up. But my brows are in quite good shape at the moment, so I, I don't tend to do anything else. I think my mum and dad are home, so I'm gonna just stop for a second. So I'm gonna speak. go in with the Benefit Roller Lash. This is the top mascara. I will always spend, this is probably the one makeup product that I will always spend money on. Usually I'm happy to find a dupe for more, the more expensive items, but this one, I just can't. You all right, Emily? Yes, thank you, you okay? Okay, so I just, this one's definitely running out, so it's not as um, long and luscious as I want it to be, but it's fine. Mum's got me for lunch. She was getting me some, um, like a meal deal from the supermarket, and I'm really hungry actually. I find school, I know I'm not even in school today because it's a Saturday, but I feel like school has made me so much hungrier. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm always quite a hungry person anyway, but I feel like it's made me very hungry, school. Okay, sorry, the lighting went a bit funny there. This is so hard to do on camera. Sorry, you're probably seeing right up my nostril, and I don't want to do that to you. Okay, so I'm gonna not gonna lie. It looks a bit clumpy because it's it's not old, it's just running out. Um, I do need to order another one actually. I'll do a big makeup order next month. That's my promise to you. See, it looks a little clumpy, a little bit clumpy here. Um, I tend to put a little bit on the bottom lashes. I'm not a huge fan of like really heavy bottom lashes. I think it looks really nice on other people, but I'm just not a fan of it on myself. Oh my God, you probably just saw like a really bad close up of my gel eyebrows. They do look quite, quite weird at first because some of the foundation does stick to them so you've just got to let it let it roll for a bit you know i'm gonna just keep brushing them up for a little bit yeah that mascara is definitely looking a bit clumpy I'll try and go in as well this mascara is looking awful i'm really sorry that you've had to bear witness to this but it ain't looking good i definitely need to buy another one i definitely need to buy another mascara very quickly very very quickly i'll buy oh, we're gonna do a big haul next month it's happening, girls. It's happening. Right, so what I would typically do then, I'm actually just going to put some Carmex on today. But what I typically do is I go in with my, where's it gone? My NYX lip liner in the shades Dainty Days. And then I would pop on top of that some, where have it gone? Put it in here. Some of my Kiko, this was actually a clear gloss, but I use it all the time over nude lipstick. So I'd go in with some Kiko um, lip gloss or... Before I do that, before I do that, I would go in with some one of the, the Makeup Revolution lipsticks. My mum is singing in the background. That's okay. We love a bit of singing on a Saturday. Um, some Makeup Revolution lip lipstick. If I'm going for like a lipstick look, otherwise just pop some Carmex on, babe. Good to go. But that is my makeup done. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will be back next week. Um, I hope you have a lovely week, and I love you guys so much. Bye.